Hello everybody and welcome to the uh, announcement video of the winner of Clean Canyon contest and um, well uh, there was somebody who asked in the comments if I'm gonna show everybody and every uh, everybody's creation and honestly I had no clue at the beginning because uh, I didn't know how many that would be and first of all thanks a lot um, there's been uh, nine creations that made it into the final judgment and um, I want to show off all of them. I'm gonna quickly go through all of them and we are starting with the um, eighth place because there will be a few more which we have to skip because some places are scare uh, shared but this is the uh, eighth place and uh, this is made by um, Eric Mead and Eric Mead made this uh, beautiful little uh, copper banana area and um, he you know, uh, he, he just made this little beach, he just sent me a nice mail that um, he went a little bit abroad and you know what, I think it's pretty decent in a way. Honestly, it doesn't fit the style, it doesn't fit the area, but I wanted to show it anyway because there are so many things, small things actually, that are so funny, like those little, let me just pause the game because the coaster is way too loud for the moment, uh, like this little, you know, jumping spot over here, you have this beautiful little slide over here, you have the banana boat obviously, and you have those little rings in the water, like, you know, where you can sit in, this one has even got a, a little hat, like a swan or something. Um, and also I like his style of uh, how he did the little um, sun chairs or how they're called, or beach chairs, that's the way. And I also like how, you know, how he made the little banana thingies. Like, it's, it's so clever. Look at this, it's so clever. I really like this one. So I have to say, it's a good job in a way what he, he built here and it is really looking nice, but unfortunately it's not fitting. But anyways, congrats to the eighth place. And um, yeah, let's go on with the next one. So here we go with the uh, shared seventh place. So we have two seventh places uh, this time. And this one is made by Olaf Belfoy. I hope that was con uh, pronounced correctly. And um, this one is um, also quite interesting, I have to say. Unfortunately, he, it seemed he didn't have enough time to get it finished uh, completely but I have to say I like the style of it he, he he took inspiration obviously from this roof over here and he just grabbed it and continued the style over here I also like how he connected this little piece over here from the flat right to make this all work together I also like how this um, works together with the little uh, this is a really big canopy so to say um, and I can imagine that if he would have had a little bit more time um, that would have turned out really beautiful. But anyways, I wanted to show it as well. Um, it, it does fit the style a lot more than the banana one, honestly. Um, but I think this is a little bit unfinished, but still, it's a really good entry. And uh, I will show you now the other seventh place. So here we are with the fur, um, and, uh, sorry, with the second seventh place. And this is, and I even have to pause the game again, sorry, because of the sound. Um, and this is uh, made by Spacebot Bell. And I honestly love how he made this little flat right area over here. This really beautiful modern looking, uh, okay, I hit pause again, uh, modern looking piece over here with those little um, triangle shapes in, in the middle of it. It's really nicely done, also with the chains. I think it works together really well. Um, I also like his restaurant. Um, he, he used the new pieces uh, from the adventure update to make the glass, obviously, how this is supposed to do now. Um, I messed up a little bit with the path inside, so that's it's my fault. But look, I think it looks beautiful from the inside. It has a little bit of um, Mirror's Edge vibes, I have to say. Um, also, like how he did this little window over here, if you look outside, you can guess... Um, it's a nice skyline from the other side and, and you have the information spot over here which is empty right now but actually I like this and also how this is um, shaping up with the little bridge over here he also made the bridge really simple but that's all about clean canyon right and um, yeah I think it's a well-deserved seventh place and uh, it's really really good and stay with me guys because in the end I'm gonna announce something else um, which might be quite interesting for some of you. Anyways, let's go ahead to the fifth place because there is no sixth place. See you then. 
Hey there, and here we are with the fifth place, and you can see already, um, if this is the fifth place, what kind of quality you have to expect, and honestly, I have been blown away by all the different things, and look at this, this is the entry by Liak, and um, I have to say, this was already one of my faves, and it's, you know, I, I didn't want to say just, but it is number five, um, it could have been easily number one, but look at this i just love it look at this flat ride it's just so cool because it's it really has so nice elements of a real theme park right i mean just with the the queue behind it you have the little seating area over here which is directly glued to it you can really imagine a family waiting over here while their um, husband or their kids are in the queue and you can see they're going into this building right into the flat ride which is then inside of a house which is just beautifully fit in here and then he made this gorgeous clean canyon logo which Fogg made by the way um, and just he made this with simple art shapes I mean is that if I, I just I, I simply have no words for it because this is really 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 good um, I also like how he did the gardening all around this is really nice with the you know, clean canyon, with clean shapes and a really clean bridge over here with the nice little tunnel um, where you have some lights going on. Uh, I don't even know, did he did he do this um, also with the trigger? That would, be, that would be really interesting to know. Let me see if he added... No, he didn't, but anyways, that's not a big problem. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you can see this big pavilion over here, which is also so nicely done. Uh, look how... Uh, I just... This is... Uh, and also he, he just made the um, all the tables, which are now functional, right? Uh, in this kind of nice um, circular style. It's just... I have no words, because I think it's really good. Then you have this little... Um, restaurant area over here which I really do like because you have the, the first aid, you have the toilets and you have all the shops um, which are inside this kind of mountain side over here which is not used before but now it is used in really good shape and honestly I'm I'm really impressed by this build. I'm really sad that this didn't win but as I said let's yeah wait till the end of this video i'm gonna explain something which might be a good thing for you but anyways let's go to the next one which is already um the fourth place which is again a shared fourth place do, 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 do. welcome to the first fourth place and this is made by jordi and uh, jordi uh, said to me um he made this because this was fun He's got the Adventure DLC already, so um, he's not sad if he's not gonna win, and if he's gonna win, I should give it to the second place. Well, he made uh, the shared fourth place, or in, or in fact, you can also say third place, how you like. Um, and I think also his builds are fitting the Clean Canyon style perfectly. He also had a different attempt on the Hellion Ring, um, which you can see over here. I love how he you know, he, he just worked with the stuff which has been in this park already really decently. Um, he, he just used those iron or, uh, iron things as little canopies all over the place. Um, I love how this queue interacts with the flying coaster over here, or with the wing coaster, and not flying coaster, the wing coaster. I love the bridge, I really love the bridge, I have to say, with these little flower elements in here, the concrete um, holding it really decently, and also how he made this little sidewalk over here it's it's beautiful it's just beautiful well done mate it's really really good work
And here we are with the winner. There we go. This is the winner's build. And maybe from the first look of it, you may seem a bit disappointed in comparison to what you saw already. But I have to say, we will go into the details and I will show you why this is for me definitely the first place. And also, it has been voted the first place for a very good reason. Um, this is made by Arthur Harmon, or Arthur Harmon, or Arthur Harmon, I don't know how to pronounce your mate, but this is hands down the best thing. And I'm, I'm happy that it has been voted the best thing, um, because it is, it's a, a well-deserved winner, you'll get the code tonight, I'll sort that out for you, and send it via mail to you, because I have your mail, and um, yeah, it's just amazing. Let's go into detail, guys, because it is... I just have no words for it. So, first of all, you can see he made something in here and this is a little toilet, which I think is already such a fun addition and such a nice use of those little canopies over here, the, the glass pieces. Um, then we have, and this is for me, like one of the coolest buildings I've seen so far in modern architecture. It's, he, he didn't use glass, um, what you could expect, but it is just, it's just perfect. It is such a beautiful building. It is such a beautiful placement for this building. He also, you know, it was also the task to go on with the style of Clean Canyon, but he just didn't grab my stuff and, and you know, used it a few times. He went on and made some other cool things. He made these little stairs over here, which look pretty, pretty, pretty thick. Um, I, I just love how all the colors work together. I love this little thing over here. I love how the walls come together, really modern, really bulky, but you know, they are not distracting or something. I love those planters over here, these kind of bowls, which are obviously new ones, but you know. Um, uh, then I love how he did this one. Just look at it. You know, it's also he made a camel, but it is so different, it's so modern, it's so clean, it's it's, it's also, look at this, I mean, the entire skyline gets a completely new vibe thanks to this one. Also this one, just, it, it's so picturesque, it's so, uh, I just, I, I totally lost my words. When I went in here and I just saw all this, it's just, I, I was hoping that he's gonna win and ho fortunately he did. Also, I love how he made this, like, Look at this, we have this restaurant over here, we have some donuts and we have Street Fox coffee, but this is at the same time the exit of um, the right over here, which is not finished, it's made by Commander Weewa, if I remember correctly. Um, and it is like in a theme park, right? You come and go through a little building at the exit. It is so cool. And then he made this little staff area on top of it. It really looks like if you could go in this little thing over here. Um, just also the use of the pieces, like like this is really modern looking how he used those different elements like wood and, and steel and stone and concrete. And oh, this building is just so beautiful. Um, Honestly, that's really the style I love and, and you know, it's just completely ridiculously good. Also, like this little detail over here, he made this little thing at the end of the building and also, like, look at this. I mean, how cool is that? He used the monsters pieces, I believe. If I, if, yeah, I think those should be this. To, to make this little detail which nobody will ever see or like, you know, the little, uh, yeah, trash can over here with the rat running around. We have this raven sitting over there and it's smelling, obviously, right? It is just so good. So if we move on, um, look at, ju just look at this lamppost. Just look at it. It is just amazing. Um, also, how he did those two sitting areas. Also, these, just look at those. I mean, it's so simple yet so cool. I... I, I'm totally blown away by this. Also, how he made like all these curbs all around and, and he didn't stop there. He went on and introduced this little flat right over here. And honestly, how cool does this look? Like, I never ever thought of doing this. How can you even think of this? It's just so good. And then also, I wondered if this blue is nice, but it's totally fitting, right? And you go in here. And you have this little queue area, which is also with a little bit of water underneath. It, it just doesn't work. And yeah, 
I mean, it's just crazy. He also made some new lampposts out of mine. Like, he, he used the basis of mine and, and just made a new one, which is also looking so cool. Um, and then here's this little thing. I uh, I just saw. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, I just don't know if, if that has a deeper sense, but I just... I just love this edition. Maybe I'm gonna put that somewhere else, but yeah, Arthur, this is a so so well deserved first place. Also, like, <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah, did I mention the bridge? I love the bridge with the little suspension below. Yeah, just crazy. Um, honestly, for me, this is the by far well deserved. Oh, well, by far, I don't know if that works, but this is definitely a well-deserved first place. This is definitely a well-deserved winner. Arthur, again, thanks so much for your entry. You're gonna get the code. I'm gonna send it over to you. And this will be a um, permanent addition to Clean Canyon. What I have to do, though, is, and um, this is, I have to say, sorry, because I sent you an older file. Um, I couldn't do anything about it, so I have to put together the park again. And I will see you what is easier if I can grab your stuff and put it in my park or if I grab my stuff and put it back in. Anyways, I will do this in a way that it is, is fitting together. I'm quite sure that I will grab your stuff and put it into mine. Never mind, it will work somehow, so it will look exactly the same. I'm pretty sure I can do this. <laughs> so, um, thanks a lot, mate. Um, this is just amazing. So, um, regarding the... Um, DLC for the monsters or for the whatever um, uh, DLC code for the uh, universal stuff you definitely have to watch the comments under the old video because I'm gonna um, pick one of the comments and uh, will give you the hint to send me an email so that I can sort out this code to you as well and just another thing for all the others don't be sad because I decided if it's okay for you so it would be really cool if you could put down in the comments below if it's okay for you but I would like to use uh, pieces out of your entries in the whole park so I will do a special episode of Clean Canyon then in the future um, where I will be implementing some of your other builds in the park because I think there is so much good stuff in which would be a shame to lose and I just you know this is this is a community project in a way already um, so why not do this I mean this is by Fluffstar this is now by Arthur this is Commander Real War so you see there is a lot of influences by the community already um, and I don't I don't feel bad about this because this is all for a good reason and so I would love to use also from from the other ones from the other entries pieces and of course I will give you credit to for this because there will be a huge statue in the park where all the names who contributed to the park will be put on and yeah hopefully that is a good one for you and otherwise um, I'm gonna end this video over here and I wish you all a very 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 nice Christmas um, time let's play the game for a second um, thanks for all of you entering the contest um, I'll I'll, I'll be doing something like that in the future way more often, but more explanation to come. Um, apart from that, enjoy your next days and uh, we'll see each other then after Christmas again. So thank you guys for watching. Again, congrats to the winners and bye bye.